says that there is a couple on Instagram with loads of followers who knowingly or unknowingly are promoting evil in the name of halal romance. The post, they post their photos and videos, the woman wears the niqab, and show their private life, the man sings, the woman jumps, and so on. And when reminded, they say that there is no problem with that, for it is halal way. Unfortunately, many young practicing Muslims are fooled, and they follow them and they watch it. So what's the ruling? Islam is based on bashfulness. It's based on al-haya. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, Iman, meaning the belief, is 70 plus branches. The highest is la ilaha illallah. The lowest is removing obstacles that are harmful from people's way. And bashfulness is part of Iman. And the Prophet ﷺ saw a man talking to his friend, telling him, come on, don't be shy. Try to be uh, uh, blunt, try to be straightforward, try to be courageous. Being shy, being bashful is not befitting. So the Prophet ﷺ said to him, leave him, for bashfulness brings only goodness. Bashfulness brings only goodness. Now, if you show these Instagram posts to imams of masjids, to scholars of Islam, to prominent da'is, and you see what they're doing, singing, acting without any restrictions, the woman, even if she's wearing the niqab, doing moves and things that are not befitting of a Muslim woman to do in public. Can she do what she does on the streets or on the theater? She says, no, definitely not. Why not? She says, this is not normal. So what you're doing in Instagram and being followed by 100,000, 500,000, few millions is even worse. So what they're doing is actually tarnishing the reputation of Islam. As a man and a wife, you between you, yourselves, you can do whatever you want. The sky is the limit. Nobody says anything wrong about that. What's wrong is when you come and do it in public. And imagine if someone gives you the evil eye and say, whoa, they're so in love. Wow. And immediately something bad happens because of that. Why are you doing so, uh, such things? Most likely they are fame seekers. You get people stripping on Instagram. You get people eating weird things on Instagram. You get people jumping and harming themselves on Instagram. Why? Because they want fame. And fame seekers usually end up in hell unless Allah has mercy over them because they do things that tarnish their religion and their reputation. And I always give you this uh, um, story that a man was captured in the Hajj season trying to put some human waste on the Kaaba. So they captured him before he spoiled the Kaaba. And they took him to the judge after beating the heck out of him. And the judge asks him, Subhanallah, what were you thinking? Aren't you a Muslim? He said, yes, I am a Muslim. So why then were you trying to spoil and tarnish the Kaaba with dirt and filth and najis? 
He said, I want it to be remembered by the people. And I wanted them to mention my name, even if they curse me. So they would say, oh, so-and-so, may Allah curse him. And he becomes famous and popular, even through, if through being cursed. So seeking fame, even if, if someone has a long beard of a woman or a woman wearing niqab, this doesn't mean a thing. So many deviant and evil people have long beards. And this doesn't mean that they are pious or righteous. What counts is their actions. Allah Azza wa Jal told us, and the Prophet Asalaam told us in Sahih Imam Muslim, that Allah does not look at your physique and how much you possess your wealth. Rather, Allah looks at your hearts and your actions. And these actions that are being done by this couple in Instagram or, when, or wherever, this is totally against Islam and it's not befitting for a Muslim.